Hey guys, Cindy Williams here, the Wanderlust CEO. Happy 2022. I'm so excited. We are in a new year. I am revved up. I am rejuvenated after the taking some rest and relaxation during the holiday time. I don't know if you guys saw all the YouTube content we we put out and some of the surprises that got released. Oh my gosh. Um, anyway, it's been quite a journey, 2021 was, and we're so excited to be ramping into 2022. But today we're talking about should you become a travel agent in 2022? Are there things that you should know before jumping in? Absolutely. Are there things that are, are, there, are there reasons why you now is the right time or why it might not be the right time? We're going to cover all of that on today's live stream. We're also going to talk about what's changed in the industry pre-COVID and then now in kind of amidst, right, the pandemic, but in a world where we have vaccinations and people are traveling again, what does that mean for travel entrepreneurs? Is it the time for you guys to jump into this? We're going to cover it all today, the pros, the cons, all that. So if that sounds like fun, keep on watching. That's what's on the show today. All right, guys, welcome back. Before I forget, don't forget to take a moment and like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell over on YouTube. We put out content every single week with tips, tricks, advice, training on what you need to know about either getting into the industry or to grow and thrive in the travel industry. And if you're new here, type a little I'm new below. I would love to welcome you to our community. And you might not know who I am. My name is Cindy Williams. I've been in the industry almost 30 years at this point. I know it's a long time. Um, I've been doing it, guys, for a minute. I own my own uh, nationally award, uh, nationally recognized award-winning travel agency. So everything I train on the channel is not only tested in my own agency, but what I'm best known for is I'm the CEO of Cruise on Vacation, which teaches people just like you how to launch, grow, and supersize travel businesses all over the world. So we test everything uh, that we train here on the channel with our clients and in our own agency. So a lot of great uh, information. And if you're new, also take a moment to check out our masterclass, The Five Shifts to a Six-Figure Travel Business and Beyond. I'm going to drop the link down below, um, and it's there on the screen for you as well, careersonvacation.com slash masterclass. If you're thinking about getting into the industry, it might be why you clicked on this video today. There are a lot of things that you should think about. It's not right for everybody, and it's perfect for others, but this is an hour deep dive on is it right for me? What do I need to know? What do I need to avoid? Some of the pitfalls. We're going to talk about some of that on the live stream today too, um, but that's a great place to start, so I encourage you to do that. It's a totally free class. Um, so let's dive right in, guys. Let's talk about is 2022, Cindy? Okay, we're in a new year. A lot has happened. We've had vaccinations, and now we have, we're in a booster uh, environment, and then we have this other stuff popping up, right? Is it the right time to be thinking? Is it crazy to be thinking about getting into the travel industry right now? So the good news is I've, I'm always an optimist, as you guys know, and I will start with the good news first. Like we all know 2020 sucked. That's like feels far away now, right? Because we're now we're in 2022. But you guys, 2021, what happened in our industry when people started traveling again, and yes, people are traveling again. Not only are they traveling again, but they're doing those big trips that they never thought they were going to do or that they get kept putting off because someday I'll do it, someday I'll do it. When the ability to travel was taken away in 2020, it it kind of like put people in this, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, like a, 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 an environment where they were told they couldn't do something and nothing makes people want to do something more than when they can't do it, right? So the minute we started pressure cooker, that's what I was looking at, it was like a pressure cooker environment, like, what do you mean I can never go to Greece or I can't go here, I can't go there, right? So now that things are opening back up again, people were like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to, you know, life's too short. You just don't know what's going to happen. And there's, there was a shift in mindset collectively, right? So when we saw travelers return and they returned at a different pace, you know, some people returned a lot quicker, right? The millennials and the younger generation, they're like, yeah, I'm trying, they were traveling through the pandemic. They never stopped, right? And then you have, uh, as people started getting vaccinations and having more confidence and doing those pieces, we saw a huge return last year. We had a record third breaking year for travel sales in 2021, which some people were still calling a recovery year, but it was a huge year for us. And a lot of my clients, a lot of my clients who took careers on vacation last year, that's our educational program that teaches people how to become travel agents and how to thrive in the industry, how to set up their business. The You guys, like how fast they were being successful was 
like, cause we've done this for years. We're not new at the game of traveling, <laughs> training travel agents, right? So we know generally it takes about this long and then you'll start getting your first clients. And then this, we were having crazy results out of a cruise on vacation last year. We had clients who graduated with a hundred thousand dollars in sales on the books before they graduated, before they left the program. That's nuts. And again, I'm going to say results are not typical and cannot be promised. We don't promise any results, but the point being is there was a clear distinction in prior years on how fast it took to get to what I would call that break even point where you're in a, a cash flow positive. And last year, it just happened a lot faster. And you might say, well, why was that? Like, it seems like people would still be nervous about traveling. The difference, guys, is before COVID, of course, internet sales for travel was always a big market share. People are like, I'll just do it myself. I'll just do it myself. Why do I need a travel agent, right? You may not have even heard the word travel agent in, in some circles for many, many years. But then when COVID happened, all of a sudden the mainstream media is like, you should make sure you use a travel agent. Make sure you use a qualified travel agent. Use a, use a certified travel agent, right? Whatever the case is, they were saying that. And people are like, oh, yeah. And, and people got confused. And they didn't know what is this close? What vaccine? do I need? What, you know, what are all the things that I need to know about? Tra I want to travel, but now it's so much more complicated and I don't have time to research all this stuff. So we had a mass amount of consumers come back into that pool and into our market share where they said, I want to work with a travel agent I know, like, and trust that can handle this for me. It can answer questions, make sure my family's going to be safe and that we are aware of what's going on and that we know everything, Right. Because just because you and I know it because we're in the industry doesn't mean the average consumer knows it. They have a life of their own. They have things that they're doing. Like travel is not on their brain every day like it is for people like us, right? So it created this beautiful environment where whenever you can solve a problem for someone, you can charge them money for it. You can have more business. So we are the problem solvers of the day in this new world. And it's going to be around for a while, guys, right? So when you, when you ask, like, is it the time to get into the industry? I would say if you've always had a passion to get into travel and you're willing to do the work, because look, this is not easy getting into this into this job in this environment. I've been doing this for almost 30 years, like I said, and there you don't want to mess someone's vacation up, right? You want to make sure that you are trained, that you're certified, that you're skilled, that you're confident. If you're willing to do the work of learning where what to do and how to handle clients and where to find the information and how to be a real travel agent, because you can't just be like, an, you know, uh, I'll say like a pre-COVID travel agent where it's like everything's easy and I'm basically just making internet bookings and then passing. I'm basically working with people that just want to save time. Like you have to be able to solve those problems for people. So if you know you're willing to do that work and and deliver that level of service and travel is how you want to serve the world. And you, maybe you want to, maybe you didn't have to go into the office in 2020 and you're looking for something that you can run from home or while you travel the world. For those reasons, I think it is the best time ever to become a travel agent. And I'll give you an example. Like in our agency, we keep our agency at a certain size because it is a proof of concept model, right? So we have our travel agency, but we are careers on vacation, like working with you guys out there to launch your own agencies. That is our main focus. Um, so last year, we were, you know, we were, we market, we test all of the marketing that we do with our agency. So we always have leads coming into our agency. We had so many leads we gave away last year that came into my travel agency. I was like, who does this? Who does that? So we literally added some of my clients on our website. And then we created what I do from an advocacy perspective for you guys is my clients who go through my programs, we have this really cool list called a travel agent, like preferred travel agent list. And I have a huge following on YouTube. So if people are following me and they're not in the travel world and they're looking for a travel agent, I give them a list of my careers on vacation graduates, right? That makes a lot of sense for everyone because I know they're certified. I, I've trained them. I know they're going to take great care of those clients. But also it just speaks to the fact of like the need for travel agents right now. People are reaching out to us through our advocacy work and through our travel agency. And, and it's just an overabundance of leads if you know how to market in your business. So all of that to say, do I think it's a great time to become a travel agent in 2022? 
absolutely. I think there is not a better time. There's lots of different ways you can become a travel agent. The masterclass will go through some of those. And yes, obviously, I'm going to tell you about Careers on Vacation, which is my 12-week mastermind program. That's exactly what it's set up for, to teach you how to become an agent, a travel agent with all the support that you need. This is our program that you may have seen online already. Um, it's 12 weeks. It is an ASTA-affiliated, ASTA's American Society of Travel Advisors, which is the highest recognition you can get on a travel training program. So it is ASTA affiliated. And you also, the difference in our program, guys, is it's not just an e-learning program. You get to work with my amazing team. This is the same team that took my business from multiple six figures a month to multiple seven figures a year, you guys. So you get to work with my team to do everything from marketing, to help you with your branding, to help you set up your business. It's that human touch that really makes the biggest difference. And also you get to carry a certification. Let's see if I can find it. I have it over on, hang on, I got to check my glasses here. You, this is a certification program. So when you graduate successfully from this program, you get to say, I'm Chris on vacation certified. And you get to have this certification logo uh, displayed proudly on your website and in your marketing materials. And in today's environment, that's a big deal, guys. Like that's where, because clients don't want to just work with anyone they want. And whether it's my certification or one that resonates with you, of course. I, I want you to be successful whether you work with our team or not. Um, but having that certification does make you stand out in the marketplace. So just keep that in mind as you're starting your new journey as a travel agent. But I hope this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell over on YouTube because we have more content coming your way. And if you'd like to reach out to us uh, to apply for Careers on Vacation, you can go to careersonvacation.com slash ready now just so we can have a, a chat with you to understand your goals if it's a match to work with my team to reach those goals and we'll talk to you about how to apply for the careers on vacation program but guys no matter where you are on your journey i wish you so much love so much abundance i wish you the world i'll see you on the next one bye guys Hey guys, Cindy Williams here. If you like that last video, make sure you check out all of the other content on our channel. And if you want to follow along and travel with me around the world and see how I run my amazing travel brands and get some great tips on how to grow your own, make sure you check out that other content. I'm going to drop a couple videos here. Click those links. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. She's calling me.